SIPAC Systems, an Australian defense technology company, has announced that it will be providing autonomous systems to aid the Ukrainian armed forces with the assistance of funding from the Australian Department of Defense. This development follows the announcement made in July 2022 by the Australian Defense to allocate extra funds towards strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities. The company's Corvo Precision Payload Delivery System, or PPDS drones, also known as the Cardboard Drone, developed in partnership with the Australian Army, are being manufactured in Melbourne and delivered to Ukraine as flat-packed. According to the Australian newspaper, Ukraine is receiving a minimum of 100 drones in flat-pack form on a monthly basis. These drones are enabling President Volodymyr Zelensky's military to carry out essential missions such as supply delivery, bomb deployment, and reconnaissance operations. The low-cost, expendable drone is designed to deliver supplies and equipment into areas traditional logistics capabilities cannot reach. The cardboard drone is controlled by a military-grade guidance system that requires no user input once the aircraft is launched and can carry payloads of up to 11 pounds and fly up to 75 miles. The PPDS is being used for both supply delivery and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The drones are manufactured using components from SIPAC's Australian supply chain, and at $670 to $3,350 per drone, they are far less expensive than other drones on the market, including a $30 million General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper. In a surprising development, cardboard-based drones have demonstrated their resilience in Ukraine, having completed up to 60 flights. Despite being made from non-durable materials like paper, these PPDS drones are coated with wax to enable them to operate in damp conditions. Their unexpected success has caught the attention of the aviation industry and is likely to spur further research into the potential of eco-friendly drone technology. According to SIPAC CEO Amanda Holt, it is a privilege to assist the Ukrainian armed forces, and the PPDS is an Australian technology that will aid Ukraine in defending their country. She believes that this system illustrates the exceptional autonomous systems expertise of the Australian industry and is the outcome of a joint effort between the Army and the Defence Innovation Hub. She also emphasized the significance of cooperation between the defence industry sectors in creating these kinds of capabilities. Australian defence contractor SIPAC welcomed a delegation from the Ukraine-Australia Parliamentary Friendship Group on March 24, 2023 to its Defense Autonomy Center of Excellence in Fisherman's Bend. The group was shown the production line for the PPDS, which has been funded by the Australian government and provided to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. During the visit, a delegation met with SIPAC employees responsible for the manufacturing of the PPDS and were briefed on the system's improvements based on feedback from end users in Ukraine. The Ukrainian ambassador to Australia, Vasil Myroshenchenko, accompanied the delegation and praised the Australian government's continued support for Ukraine, including the procurement of defense equipment produced in Australia. Vesel Myroshenchenko said, What's important is that not only the Australian government decides to extend the program for this particular producer, but would further extend its assistance this year and would be able to procure defense industry weapons and equipment for Ukraine, which has been produced and manufactured in Australia. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.